Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prepper with a video about my bug out bag radio. I got a complete HF radio station in this backpack and me and the uh, comms prepper helper dog are going to break everything down here and set this radio up and let you see it operate. So I'll pause here and get this all unpacked. Here's the unpacked backpack and everything that was in it. I have a black hard case that I put the MFJ HF radio antenna tuner in. That's a MFJ 971. And the bug out bag radio is a Yaesu FT817ND. And there's the microphone. And up in the back I keep the sorted power cords and the operator's manual. And then over here I have some extra cable. I'll get that out of the way. And a dipole antenna that we made. Some 550 cord for pulling that antenna up in a tree, and a 12 volt sealed battery. So let me pause here again and we'll get this set up. So we got the station broke down from the bug out bag and set up here. I have the ASU FT817, VHF, UHF, and HF radio. The antenna connected here on the front for VHF and UHF communications. Over here I have the MFJ971 antenna tuner. For HF communications. I have a quick reference card with frequencies and operating instructions for this specific radio over here. And that's connected to its seal battery over here. On the back you can see the connections. I have power coming in here. Antenna port coming out. This is the rear antenna jack. Different than the antenna jack in the front here which is selectable based on this frequency or band you're using so you can choose which antenna port you want that's connected to the transmitter port on the back of the tuner then the tuner is connected to the antenna and this is a field expedient dipole antenna and I connected that to a simple dipole head up there if you can see that I just pulled up the tree with some 550 cord and I'll pull it down a little bit. Yep, now it's starting to fall out of the tree. That's okay. You can see it better that way. And that's just some twisted multi-strand copper wire. Coming along here. Spring loaded against this branch. Now if this is more permanent we would use 550 cord. And then coming back in this direction. I did the same thing. Ran the wire up here and connected it over here and I just again wrapped it around because this is a, a quick setup. And we'll come back over here to the station. And I'll go ahead and grab a seat. Romeo 3 Charlie Uniform Portable QRP Moscow. Romeo 3 Charlie Uniform Portable QRP Moscow. Bravo Lima Hotel. Ocean and 44 Bravo Lima Hotel. This is R Romeo 3 Charlie Uniform R3CU QRP Portable Station Moscow QSL. I got it, got please. And this is Romeo 3 Charlie Uniform R3CU running a QRP Portable Station in Moscow QSL. This is Radio 3 Charlie Uniform R3CU QRP Portable in Moscow. Your 59 plus 10 QSL form. Roger, Radio 3 Charlie Uniform. Radio 3 Charlie Uniform. Over. 100% correct, correct. This is Radio 3 Charlie Uniform QRP Portable in Moscow running 5 watts QSL. Sometimes below the noise. So 
contact, you're going below the noise level. But uh, in the clear you are, 5 and 7 in the clear, 57 in the clear. Uh, Romeo 3, Charlie, Uniform, thank you for, for uh, contacting us at QRP station. Uh, Romeo 3, Charlie, Uniform, point 4, 4, Bravo, Lima Hotel, go ahead. Oscar November 4, Bravo Lima Hotel. Thank you very much for the QSO. Again, you're a 5 9 plus 10 in Moscow. QSL? Roger, Roger. Thank you for the 5 9 in Moscow. Thank you, thank you. And uh, 73, my friend. Uh, good luck and uh, thank you for your patience. 73, 73. You are it. 73s. Broke the station down after making that contact with Belgium on five watts from Moscow. But there's everything packed up in the bag. So we pulled the antenna out of the trees, cleared up the mess, and repacked the station. And that's a radio bug out bag. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Cons Prepper with a bug out bag demonstration.